Welcome to Antenna and Wave Propagation Playlist. Here, in this session, I'll be going to explain broadband antenna and frequency independent antenna. So, I'll explain you how we can define whether given antenna is broadband antenna or whether given antenna is frequency independent antenna. So, before I explain what is broadband antenna and what is frequency independent antenna, I think we should learn first what is the bandwidth of antenna. So let us define it, bandwidth of antenna. So what is the bandwidth of antenna? It is a range of frequencies within which the performance of antenna with respect to some characteristics conforms to a specific standards. So let us define it over here. It is a range of frequencies within which the performance of the antenna with respect to some characteristics confirms to a specified standards. So ultimately it is a range of frequencies within which the performance of antenna confirms some specified standards with respect to some characteristics. So what are those characteristics which we need to focus about when we define bandwidth. So antenna characteristics So what are those characteristics which we need to define to define its bandwidth? So we usually see return loss to define bandwidth. We see VSWR to have a calculation of bandwidth. In some case we can consider gain of antenna to have a bandwidth as well as there are some standards where we can measure bandwidth with respect to impedance of antenna. So these are the characteristics by which one can define what will be the bandwidth of antenna. I will tell you one example here. For example, I want to calculate what is the bandwidth of microstrip antenna. Then microstrip antenna bandwidth that we measure by return loss characteristic considering minus 10 dB return loss. Like see for example if you plot return loss characteristic with respect to frequency and this is 0 dB this is minus 10 dB here we have return loss in terms of dB and here if I say my return loss characteristic that is somewhat this then to have a calculation of bandwidth what we do is we take intersection with respect to minus 10 dB and here we will be defining lower cutoff frequency and upper cutoff frequency so this is lower cutoff frequency and this is upper cutoff frequency so by these two frequency we can identify the bandwidth of antenna in terms of frequency it will be upper cutoff frequency minus lower cutoff frequency. So ultimately there are some other characteristics even which can define bandwidth of antenna. I have considered example of microstrip antenna here to have a calculation of bandwidth. 
So ultimately one should understand it could be calculated with respect to VSWR, it may be calculated with respect to gain, it may be calculated with respect to impedance of antenna. Now I'll explain you how many ways by which one can calculate bandwidth. So calculation of bandwidth So one basic way to have a calculation of bandwidth in terms of frequency one can do calculation of upper cut off frequency minus lower cut off frequency in that case one will be having bandwidth in terms of hertz. Second way of calculation of bandwidth is bandwidth is upper cut off frequency minus lower cut off frequency divided by F0 that is center frequency into 100 so this will be percentage bandwidth now here in this case one can understand this point that is center frequency f0 so for this graph center percentage bandwidth will be upper cut off frequency minus lower cut off frequency divided by center frequency into 100 so this is how we can calculate bandwidth now there are some other ways even and for wideband antenna calculation of bandwidth for wide line, wideband antenna that has been getting done by taking a ratio of upper cut off frequency divided by lower cut off frequency. So for wideband antenna calculation of bandwidth that is been getting done by upper cut off frequency divided by lower cut off frequency. So by this ratio we can calculate bandwidth for wideband antenna. Now here as I have told I will be explaining what is broadband antenna and what is frequency independent antenna. So there are basically three ways by which one can calculate bandwidth over some characteristic of antennas like those characteristics are return loss, VSWR, gain, impedance of antenna. So let us define first what is broadband antenna. So what is broadband antenna? So broadband antenna is an antenna which is having bandwidth greater than 2. So it is antenna having bandwidth greater than or equal to 2. So ultimately for broadband antenna one can say for broadband antenna bandwidth that is upper cut off frequency divided by lower cut off frequency that should be greater than or equal to 2. So this is what the basic definition which is there with broadband antenna. So if you want to calculate what is broadband antenna then one should calculate upper cut off frequency divided by lower cut off frequency and if it is greater than 2 one can say that antenna is broadband antenna. Now let us define second term which is frequency independent antenna. So frequency independent antenna. So frequency independent antenna is having bandwidth which is greater than or equal to 10. So it is antenna having bandwidth which is greater than or equal to 10. So one can say for frequency independent antenna bandwidth which is what upper cut off frequency divided by lower cut off frequency that has to be greater than or equal to 10. So sometimes I have seen students are getting confused if somebody is saying bandwidth is 10 
so they are getting it like what is 10 but one should understand for broadband antenna 10 means upper cut off frequency divided by lower cut off frequency and there are three ways to have a calculation of bandwidth one is in terms of frequency one is in terms of percentage bandwidth that is upper cut off frequency minus lower cut off frequency divided by center frequency and for wideband antenna one should calculate bandwidth by upper cut off frequency divided by lower cut off frequency and for broadband antenna that bandwidth is greater than or equal to 2 and for frequency independent antenna that bandwidth is greater than or equal to 10 so that is how we can calculate bandwidth of antenna as well as this is what about broadband antenna and frequency independent antennas thank you so much for watching this video you can find all materials which i am teaching here on my website link for that is attached with the description of this video so you can check out my website where i have uploaded all those documents which is there regarding this subject thank you so much for watching this video